Spy X Family has finally hit UK cinemas with their first movie called White. And I was definitely intrigued because I love the anime series. So in this review, it is going to be spoiler free. And I am going to touch on for people who's never seen the anime and people who have seen the anime, what you can come to expect. So let's get into this. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review. My name is Mike and last night, as I'm recording this video, I got to check out Spy X Family Code White in cinemas. I definitely wanted to catch this while it had a very limited run here in the UK as I think it's only on for two or three days maximum, so not very long, but I will say I enjoy the anime series. Is it the best anime all round? Personally for me, no but it is one that is very enjoyable, it is silly, it balances espionage, the spy action, the comedy and just action in general really well into all those different subcategories and it brings it into one formula which creates Spy X Family. In Spy X Family Code White, we see Lloyd Forger receiving an order that he's going to be removed from Operation Strix. That means it's going to be the end of him and Ye, your and Bond's family. So in order to prolong this, he decides to help Anya win a cooking competition at school so she will receive Stella to prolong this mission. So I was curious to see how this was going to push along the anime series because the anime is definitely interesting, but I am going to be the first to admit it has a lot of filler in it. We feel as if at times the story isn't really progressing, but our characters are continuously going on these side missions before we eventually get an episode that leads more into an established story. To start this off, if you've never seen the anime itself, I would recommend it. It is a lot of fun. It's good fun to be had. But if you're going to go into this movie having not seen the anime, you could follow along with this because they do certain parts where they have flashbacks to give you a quick brief overview about our characters in the first few minutes before the opening titles comes on. But then throughout, we also receive some flashbacks of past events that's happened, mainly the most important events that lead to that moment in the movie. So if you're going to go into this without any knowledge whatsoever, you could probably do so. If you have seen the anime, those flashbacks that I just referenced, you will get those here of moments on episodes that you see in the original anime where you kind of get rewarded for following along on this journey and seeing how our characters and situations they've been through in the past gets referenced in particular moments. So I really like that they made a homage to them. I really like that they actually referenced that. And as a fan, I was like, all right, cool. So maybe some of this filler here, they're actually referenced in the movie, which I particularly liked. I thought it was a really nice touch of them to add. But Spy X Family Code White in general is a lot of fun. There's a lot of comedic elements, especially one about poop. And that's all I'm going to say. That was definitely the funniest gag of the entire movie. It was great. But besides all the funny and comedic timing with especially Anya always being the standout character, there was great moments of espionage and the spy and people getting beaten up or killed. Like you're going to see all of that and it's always a lot of fun and it's always a ton of fun. But besides just those kind of standard moments that we see, we also get some really nice kind of chilled out moments and more kind of romantic moments and also some more emotional ones between Anya and Bond or your and Lloyd, for example, those moments I thought really helped to balance the tone of just having this as like stand out, just funny comedy or the action or the espionage. Those kind of subtle moments really made you feel for the characters and want to really engross yourself more into this world. They go to this region to get the Murray Murray cake that they want to make for Anya's cooking competition back at school. It's a lot of fun. That is just absolutely bonkers. It goes off the wall and a lot of it can be seen as unrealistic depending on if you've seen the anime or not. If you've never seen the anime, there's going to be part of you going to be thinking, hmm, should this character be dead right now? If you've seen the anime, it kind of goes over your head and like, 
okay, yeah, I know about these characters, I know these situations, they're going to be fine, or, you know, they'll be okay, at least in this moment, or this is why they're not dead at this particular time, you're going to have those moments. Now, if I'm going to lean into any negatives, I am going to say that I have mainly two negatives here, and they're not really exactly like massive detractors for me in terms of it ruined my overall enjoyment of the movie by any stretch of the imagination it didn't do that but i think it's definitely worth mentioning i would say after this movie finished again i had a really good time of it i thought it was really great but ultimately it doesn't really develop the story that much it feels like a really full feature left movie filler to an extent and my second negative would be they introduce a character called Type F. Now, the character itself is pretty cool. We don't really know a lot about it, but the moments that we do get, you think, oh, okay, there's a little bit of Captain America Winter Soldier vibes here. There's also other references that this character relates to, or you can probably relate to that character with. And we don't get a lot of Type F. It's very generic. That's all I will say. So are you going to check out Spy X Family Code White? Are you going to skip this one completely? Let me know in below in the comment section so we can continue the discussion down there. As for my overall score, I would give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Please give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. Big thanks to all my awesome patrons who have to really support the channel. If you want to join Patreon and get access to early videos and exclusives you're not going to see here on YouTube, click the link down below in the link tree and join from today. In the meantime, click over here to see more anime reviews of mine of two particular movies that I absolutely love, Blue Giant and The Tunnel of Summer, The Exit of Goodbyes. Until the next time, I'll see you guys. I'll be seeing you later.